Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Rohit Gautam and today we are going to see one of the CVE that was released recently and the CVE ID which has been assigned is 2020-8512. So what exactly is the CVE and what is the impact and how you can use this particular CVE to mass hunt targets which are running still and have not been patched. So first of all, the CVE ID has a CVSS score of 6.1 medium as you can see over here. So the severity is medium for this specific vulnerability. Now what is the CVE? What is the bug? So there lies a XSS to be specific, a reflected XSS into a software which is Ice Warp Webmail version which starts from 11.4.4.1 and before. So what exactly is the vulnerability? So this particular software is running on many servers out there, which is used for mails. So this webmail software has a vulnerable parameter, which is the color parameter. And with the help of get method, you can attack this particular parameter or you can use it as your injection point as you can see over here. And when you put a XSS payload, you will be able to see that it gets successfully executed. So this is how a vulnerable URL may look like as you can see over here, HTTP localhost, which is your target webmail question mark color so the vulnerable parameter over here is color and the payload that you want to use for doing the successful XSS. Also, I have given the example vulnerable URL over here and the payload as well. All right. Now, as we know now, the CVE is a reflected XSS security vulnerability into ICE warp software, which is used for the webmail how to identify this and how to mass scale this specific vulnerability. So for that, you can use this particular Google doc for identifying websites, which are still running on iSwap server and have not been patched. So as you can see, when I hit this specific Google doc, I'm able to see a list of websites over here. If I go to the second page, you will be able to see there are more websites which are running on the webmail version third page and so on. What you can also do is you can modify this dark accordingly and use other operators. So let's say I want only those websites which belong to let's say dot DK. And you can see these all websites belong to the DK domain. Similarly, let's say if you want to specifically search for TH, you can also do that and you will be able to get the websites which are running onto that particular top level domain. Let's say EU and you will be able to see this. So yeah, Google docking is very, very important to get a lot of list of domains or websites which can be considered into scope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one of the XSS onto a website, which we are going to pick from Google doc. And similarly, you can identify a lot of websites which are still vulnerable and have not been patched and you can directly report to them. And in case they have a bug bounty program or they are generous enough, they will be able to issue a bounty to you. All right. So I have a target that I have chosen target is this now. At the bottom, as you can see, this is again powered by ICE Warp Server 2020. As we already saw, we have used the same Google Doc to identify this specific website. Now into the URL, there is a vulnerable parameter as we have already discussed. And the vulnerable parameter that we have discussed is the color parameter. So let me show you if I put the color parameter and if I give anything over here, it gets reflected. Let's see if we are able to see the reflection into the source code or not. source code or not. So let's see. So there are a couple of one, two, three. Let's choose an uncommon name. So let's say I type it Rohit over here. And 
let's see if Rohit gets reflected over here and you can see it gets reflected over here. All right, so here, this is the reflection that we are getting. Now let's balance this. So we are going to balance this specific payload. So let's balance it this way. And let's say we use this payload image source equals to X and there is no source like that. That's why it is going to get an error and we say on error confirm one. And you can see we are able to get a successful XSS with the help of little bit of balancing. So I hope you understood how you can identify XSS using the CVE 2020-8512 and you can report against many numbers of website. And remember, there are many still vulnerable versions of software of the ICE warp which are still running. And if you are able to identify Many of them, you can simply report them to their bug bounty programs or to their responsible vulnerability disclosure program or at least the support emails. I hope you guys understood this video and I hope you like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.